Welcome back. So I was curious about Quick Starter. Got to auto correct it to Quick Starter in my brain every time I'm about to say it. I was curious about how it worked mechanically, so it also seemed rather exploitable. So I was like, "Yo, let's uh, let's the session's ending. I'm settling in to get dinner and watch Retsuko, uh, or Agretsuko, I guess is the name of the show, which is great, by the way. Uh, let's just let it run." So I just sat here on this menu and let it run, and I learned how it works, which is that it keeps ticking forward, and it just keeps going, but it stops at 50%. As far as I can tell, everything stops at 50%. Uh, these things are still in progress, they're just they're just very slow. I guess they, certain ones move at different speeds, and it's not based on their cap... Uh, it's not based at all on like the overall value of the individual thing. Like, the this one capped out relatively quickly, despite being like... 500,000 and stuff like that, and then these ones are like Incredibly smaller, but they're still not there and so on. But yeah, they'll just keep going till 50% So I'll probably avoid buying any of them Until they reach 50% and then I'll invest because you know saves me significantly Overall, yeah, though. I don't know if this is I'm not sure if I want that one at all just because I don't know if it's good although it is cheap Yeah, 50,000 is just not very expensive. So you know what? With my current amount of money, I can spend 50,000. So we'll find out what that is. So waiting for that to cap out, and the hug bomb to cap out, for example. And all of these guys. But this guy... Another... Variation of this... Mode, I guess? That, that's 500,000. I'll probably want to play more of the normal dice... Cube... Levels before I start buying new levels for it or something. Because that's a, that's a pretty big investment. And there we go, basic construction. So this is a quest. So a hundred grand down and this guy will finish his... La this thing where he was about to jump into traffic if it didn't get funded. So, congrats, dude. I guess that means I can go visit that guy and his storyline will probably be over. So I've got that going on. What's this? What's this? What's this? Was she the... What do you call him? The witch. The Prophet. The Countess of the Future. <laughs> I believe that was her, the one that would foresee bad thing. Who's this from? God damn it. They beat up my friend. Wow, these things uh just keep coming back, huh? I'm gonna I'm probably just gonna ignore it. Like they keep coming back like immediately. Not that interested in dealing with this right now. Oh, this isn't her. This is the locksmith dude. Gotcha. Well then, fine. Okay, Koizuka-san. I made it. Excellent. I already have some jobs lined up for you. You don't say. Take whichever one you like. Will do. None of these are very valuable. Huh. This is supposed to be a replacement for my job where I do investigations for like a hundred yen? A hundred thousand yen? Alright, thumb term bypassed. I'll send the client's location on the, to the map on your phone, so head with the key icon is. You get paid when it's done, so be sure to report back to me. Got it. Fuck. Ah. <laughs> I was definitely hoping you could get all of them at least, so I could run around and do them all consecutively. So like... Huh. That's gonna be a slow process. Alright, let's get the suicide guy. Who I saved already, but now... Now the good news has truly happened. So let's go visit him about that. No! Wee! Hee hee! Wee! Yay! Ha <laughs> God damn. The Agami is terrifying. I'm a lawyer, and a detective, and a martial artist, and a locksmith picker boy. Oh yeah, there's the dodge guy. That wasn't Ryan. That was Mr. Try and Hit Me. That's Dr. Try and Hit Me to you. Oh, I got your doctorate. Congrats. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. But now I'm gonna mix them up, because aren't, aren't Cat Guy and Dr. D Try and Hit Me both... Wearing orange jumpsuits. 
I might be misremembering something. It's fine. She startled me. Oh, Yagami-san. Thank you for helping me out that one time. Oh, uh, yeah. How's that going, anyway? Great. I started up a, qu a quick starter campaign. I managed to reach my first donation milestone. First? Oh, right. I did say, like, one or something, didn't it? <laughs> if you look over there in the distance, you may notice that construction's already happening as we speak. Wow. So far, so good. I don't see it at all. I noticed your donation too, Yagami-san. Honestly, I cannot thank you enough. What, for being 50% of your funding? Yeah, I'm pretty cool. For a while, I thought that nothing would ever go right for me again. But you changed all that. You... You touched my life. Also, I'm gonna blackmail the shit out of you because if I- if you- if you don't continue to donate to my stuff, I'm gonna tell your landlady about your Quickstarter campaign, uh, account, and she's gonna see how much you've been donating. <laughs> Wait, you faked out. It went halfway the first time, then a quarter the second time. Not sure if I'd put it like that. Anyway, I do still need to keep on gathering funds. It's a 50-story building, after all. 50 floors. God damn. Slow and steady wins the race, I suppose. We're gathering donations little by little, so please contribute if you can. Sure. 50, floor 50 floors, though. What kind of estimate did he even make in the first place? Usually you get something back, or you become like an investment partner when you do stuff like this. I feel like that's not really so much happening here. Okay. Let's find it. It'll be the one with the empty meter. There it is. 200,000. Ah. Uh, how many milestones of that are there? And why would people even support that on Quickstarter? Like, what is the incentive for people to be donating towards, like, we're gonna build a really big building. I think you said something about, like, improving life of everybody via technological advancement or something like that. That's still pretty vague of a promise. Hmm. We may be wrapping a lot of this stuff up. I do have something waiting for me here. Psych! I'll double check my quest log though, because uh, I think I have a couple of side cases that we've picked up that just don't show up on the map, but they tell you, but they tell you the location, so you just need to go to it by navigating on your own. Excuse me. Oh, pebble. Wow, what an exciting thing to have a detour for. Woohoo! I don't care. I don't respect people's cars. <laughs> Not even one bit. You can't make me. The unofficial DNC strategy guide. Project achievement bonus. Unofficial DNC strategy guide. Unofficial DNC strategy guide. Reading this guide has unlocked high roller. That's what I thought. It is a skill. I was going to say, a strategy guide is not very useful. In part because people have the internet. Having to unlock it in-game would be a little weird. Angel investor. Becomes easier to collect money for the quick starter projects you invest in. What does that mean? Oh, does that mean they'll invest further on their own? Without me having to... Like, will they go further than 50% or something? It's an extra dice roll when playing Destiny Cube. Isn't that just cheating? <laughs> Isn't that, That's just me cheating. Like, I hacked the game. Ha 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 ha. Oh well. I'll probably buy the Angel Investor one because it sounds like this will be a long-term thing that affects my progression for the rest of the game. At least in that system. This, there's only five items left. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We've done eight, there's five left. So we've done more than half. Oh, Tamiyaka-san put some food in here. It's beef stew. Oh, we've seen this before. Uh oh. Uh oh, I've committed too much to this weird walk. There we go. I always feel like I've done something wrong whenever I stumble into the 
sidle animation. Like, no, I could have avoided this. Hello? I'm Kotaro Hyogo. The guy who put in the request. Might even know me as Hintana. Or Hinata? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks for coming. Please take a seat. So, you requested something about a setup. Yeah, that's right. Uh. This is tough. Mm -hmm. Take your time. God. God damn it. Whoa. Damn, damn, damn it. Damn. Uh, you gonna be okay? Maybe you should step outside, take a breather, stop punishing my coffee table. I'm sorry, it's just, when I think about that woman, I got so damn mad. Well, you need to, you'll need to tell me what happened if you want my help. You don't recognize me, do you? I'm actually a stand-up comic. I had everything going for me. Young, handsome, funny. I was on my way up in the comic biz. But I'm on a hiatus now, and I don't even know if I can bounce back. Mm -hmm. And the hiatus relates to why you're here, I take it. My face was plastered all over one of those trashy tabloids this week. I take it you're involved in some kind of scandal. I'll say, those garbage rags are saying that I got a minor drunk. I got a minor drunk and then took advantage of her. That's phrased strangely. Here, see for yourself. So the girl was underage. That puts you completely at fault. No gray area here. No, you've got it wrong. She said she was 22 years old. You're saying she lied about her age? Yeah. She said we were about the same age and we hit it off. The vibe was good and I was pretty into her. And you ended up sleeping with her. This was the girl. Her name's Asuka Hashitani. This whole thing has stopped my career dead in its tracks. I can't perform, and I even had to pay agency reparations. On top of that, I'm getting hounded by paparazzi and journalists everywhere I go. It's terrible. Sure, but can we go back to the part about her lying about her age? That's the key here. Yeah, I thought I was doing the fucking, but I was just getting fucked over. It was a classic honey trap. It sucks, man. The internet's even calling me Horny Hinata. Or just Hornada. That's... The most minor response ever to... Like, statutory rape charges. They're giving me a nickname. Ah! Like, ah! Uh, it's... Alright. It's true what they say. Go to home plate with jailbait, go straight to inmate. I... You... Are you sure you have this want to be throwing this jargon around? And these phrases and quotes apparently that you're familiar with? If you're gonna talk about how you didn't mean to sleep with an underage girl? Uh. Nobody says that. That's what makes it even more weird. Well, I think I'm starting to get the picture. But I need to get more details. Honada-san. Uh. It's Hinata. Uh, oh, right. Sorry. It was too catchy. Also, you told it to me. That was a weird choice. Let's talk about the profile. So this girl you slept with, uh... Hachitani-san. The woman who set you up. Are you positive she was... She said she was 22 years old. Yes. I'm not an idiot. I asked her age before we even finished the first drink. Hell, I even asked her to show me her driver's license at one point. But the tabloid clearly indicates she's underage. That's quite a contradiction. I know. I don't understand this at all. I know what I saw on her driver's license. Okay, so it seems like getting access to her driver's license really fixes this whole situation, if it's true. Well, something's not adding up. That's the first thing we need to look into. Can you tell me a little more about the day you met her? Sure. I just wrapped up a recording, so I went out to grab drinks with my co-star. His name is Kotatsu Higurashi. He's a comic, too. 
about my age. We're good buddies. Are you sure he isn't 12? Oh, I should have a picture of him. Yeah. That's him right there. Itatsu said he knew a good spot that night. But we went out drinking at a place called Bantam. Ah, Bantam. I know it. But when we got there, Kotatsu said it was pretty lame for a couple guys to be drinking alone. I mean, I didn't mind, but he said he'd call up some girl he'd met recently. Is that the girl in question? Yeah. Asuka Hach Hachitani. Apparently they'd met on a group blind date. This sounds really choreographed, like it was a plan. That means it was the three of you drinking that night. Yeah, but now that I think about it, she was pouring him drink after drink, and he conked out early and grabbed a cab. So it got to be just the two of us, and like I said, we were hitting it off. She was drinking, she got kinda handsy, I got it kinda excited. I guess it does sound like the perfect cocktail for a disaster that led to you here. Yeah, one, one thing led to another, and we ended up going to a hotel. Potatsu is pretty messed up about it, too. He's the only guy who's been out there defending me. He even tried to take some of the blame himself. I see. I think I'm understanding the how, at least. But what are you, what are you hoping I can do specifically? Yagami-san, I want you to find proof that I was set up. And if you find a way, I'd love to get back at that harpy. I'd, I'll pay you 150,000 yen. Find proof and get revenge, huh? That might be a tough one. I'm going to need to make sure it was a setup in the first place. Alright. I've heard what I need to get started, I think. I can't promise anything, but I'll take the case. Thank you very much. I'll call you if I make progress. You are my only hope, man. I'll leave you to it. First thing I need to do is find this woman, Hachitani. Maybe if I head to Bantam, I can get a lead or two. Hmm. Somebody's lying in this situation. I gotta wonder who. Is it the client? Is it the girl? Is it the friend? Or is it the tabloid? Although that'd be printing libel and that is like... Deep shit business for somebody to have. Hey! Oh, right, I've. Right, I remember. There is no special animation for using the cone. Even though there should be. Yeah? 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 There you go. Tiger drop's ridiculous. It's extra funny against random weak enemies because, like, they can't take it. <laughs> they can't take it at all. Ah, I'm barely going down the street and it's already time for more of this. Alright. Freaking Kaihin gang is everywhere. There we go. Clean. Oh, yeah? Come on. There it goes. A distressingly fast punch. It looks lethal. Your character definitely ends up looking like some kind of nightmare machine thing. Like a piston with flesh on the end. Oh my god. Yeah, this is a bit much. Leave me alone. Quickly, who can I talk to to make the story happen? So I- ah, god damn it. Double kill. How are you doing, sir? Ah, uh, you're fighting the rando. Or not. Okay. That's a pretty quick takedown. Hey, might I've asked you a question? You know this woman? Oh, yeah. That's Asuka Hichitani. Mm hmm? You do know her. Aww. Yeah. I'm a journalist. I take it you're following the horny Hinata story, too. Yeah, something like that. But I don't have much to go on, and I hit a dead end. 
Well, what a lucky break to run into me. The name's Hiron Hironuma, and I'm digging up what I can on the Hornada 2. I'm Yagami. Have you found anything promising? Nothing I can use, not yet anyway. I did find the woman's chatter account, but she's been pretty cautious. Hasn't posted a thing about the incident. Chatter, huh? Maybe I could use that to locate her. Uh, I hate to ask, but would you mind... Would you be willing to share her handle? Mm hmm? Sure. But not for free. How much? Hmm, how about... Well, I'm feeling generous. Let's call it a trade. If you get anything good, you give me a call, okay? Really? Are you sure about that? Think of it as an alliance. After all, in our world, you gotta give before you can take, right? He really does think I'm a journalist. Here, her handle and my number. That's a huge help, thank you. Remember, call me if you find anything, right? Uh. Will do. I should start looking into this right away. Yep. So are we gonna go to our friend or just look it up right now? I okay, translate please. Oh god. Seems to post about things just after she finishes doing them. Yeah, like some kind of new wave crazy interpretation of social media that's different from everybody else's. I just did this thing, here's the post. What a, what a surprise. Her last post wasn't too long ago either. Whatever if I can nail her down with this. Hmm. Might be advertising herself so heavily that we don't even have to bother with, uh... With, with anything else. Jack Daniels Single Barrel. Jack Daniels Gold. Jack Daniels Deluxe Edition. Jack Daniels literally cyanide in a bottle. I haven't been visit, completing the bars enough because they still do have a limit and I need to visit them more for that purpose. Because my limit is I get drunk real fast and then you can't drink anymore. Pwomp pwomp. Not messages. Uh, case files. There we go. Just trying to queue, get rid of all this blah. So many notifications. Is it really worth having a fucking case file about the fact that we chased a wig down the street once for a moment? That's just weird. My god, we've been busy. Okay, uh, honey trap. There we are. The chatter screen displaying hit Hachitani's secret posts, or recent posts, I don't know why it's a secret. 20 minutes ago, shopped at Don Quixote. 10 minutes ago, saw a movie trailer by a ramen shop. 8 minutes ago, walked close to a sex store. 5 minutes ago, stood near a beef bowl shop. 1 minute ago, ate an onion ring. So Don Quixote, 10 minutes ago, and then he walked- then she walked up to a beef bowl sh shop. By a sex store. Movie trailer. It's either the one in the middle of town or the one up north. It's probably the one in the middle of town, though. Probably right here, right here ish. Except I gotta figure out what place serves onion rings. Also, she posts her exact location like every goddamn 10 seconds. Like, Jesus. The drunkness is an issue at the moment. Oh boy. Where do y'all sell onion rings? Excuse me. I'm looking for a woman with blonde hair. Pretty please. Uh oh. Uh <laughs> And then we teleport it outside. Time for you to go to hell, huh? Shit. 
<laughs> oh boy. Ooh. I like to imagine that these heat actions are so effective specifically because we magically teleport outside. Blah, blah, blah. You beat them. Good job. Okay. I'm pretty done with those at the moment. But those yeah, events are triggering like too often. Like, they sell beef bowls here. But she most recently ate an onion ring. Where do they sell onion rings? I'm pretty sure I've ha eaten them already. Oh, that was her. I heard, saw a fa I heard a face. Face of Kamurocho. I heard a face. God damn it. But there's a thing where if you're in the middle of speaking a sentence and then text pops, pops, pops up on the screen, you can end up like then saying what's on the screen in the middle of your sentence, and it just interrupts. The takoyaki place. A ta takoyaki. They have sour cream fries. They do not have onion rings. No. There we go. Unrelated to what I'm doing right now, but hey, it's this the lockpick icon. Are you the locksmith? Uh, it's a store right over here. Let's see. It calls for a wire. I should just buy one. Oopsie. I haven't done this mini game in an incredibly long time. Actually, I kind of don't remember. It seems to just be follow the prompts and that's it. I should buy like a hundred more wires or something. Because they're probably really cheap. Yes. I I think I played this minigame once ever, actually. What the hell? Like considering how spammy some of the other mechanics are in this game and how much they re recycle them. It's actually really weird how little this has come up. Oh wow, just like that, huh? Thank you. No sweat, take care now. And you report back to blah 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 blah. Alright, so back to what I was doing. Must find onion rings. That's not a door. Now I'm stuck on this guy. Ah. Onion rings! Wet kitchen sells onion rings. I bet she, she might be upstairs. Oh yeah. Am I in time? Does anyone here look like Hachitani? There's three young women here. Hachitani's distinguishing figure features are... She, well, first of all, she's blonde. I need to inspect the women's faces carefully, then I can approach. I mean, it's either her or nobody. Nope. Doesn't match the profile, not the one. Ah. Well, that's a problem then, because then she's not here. Mm. Drooping eyes. Is it him? Mm. Yeah, she's not here. That's weird. None of the women match her description completely. That woman with glasses has clearly different characteristics. Hmm. The blonde woman's going to leave, but the woman with the mole beneath her eye is still here. Should I follow the blonde? Don't go after her. Uh, you said that because... It... <sighs> yeah, it's the girl at the back of the room probably. She probably just re-dyed her hair. The faces won't change, but hair can change very easily. So don't go after the blonde. The one with a mole below her eye. Ignoring the hair, the features match up. But hair is easy enough to change just with a wig. 
I was not thinking wig, but okay. That's not usually how women change their hair color. Of the three, there's a good chance the woman is- that woman is Hachitani. Hello? Kokun? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm at Wet Kitchen right now. Kokun. Is that a guy? What? Really? Yeah, of, of course I want to see you. Hmm? Nah, same old me. What? You like me blonde? Yes. Bingo. I knew it was a wig. Uh-huh. Got it. I'll be right there. Is the blonde hair a wig, I guess? Is she going to... Is she going to meet with her boyfriend? But she slept with Hinata-san, so... Well... That doesn't prove she set up- set him up or anything. But it sure does make her scummy if that's the case. I need to see where this goes. I should probably tail her. Maybe she just got a boyfriend just now.